One of the primary functions of the cardiorespiratory system, including the blood, is to ensure that all tissues are adequately oxygenated at all times. Deviations from normal values of the key variables of oxygen transport typically lead to hypoxic tissue environments. Maintaining stable blood flow in the heart and vessels is very important in supporting normal organ functions. The neonatal circulation functionally distinguishes itself from the pediatric and adult circulation, thus, understanding of fetal and neonatal cardiovascular pathophysiology is warranted in order to recognize hemodynamic instability in time. Hemodynamic instability and inadequate cardiac performance are common in the critically ill newborn. Every day, Neonatologists continually struggle to determine hemodynamic instability in their patients, to decide to initiate treatment and if so, which therapy is the best for this individual patient. Many of these questions remain unanswered, because most of the current treatment modalities and guidelines are based on expert opinion rather than on evidence. The clinical assessment of hemodynamic status is reliant upon physical examination supported by the clinical signs such as heart rate, blood pressure, capillary refill time, and measurement of the urine output and serum lactate. Unfortunately, all of these parameters are surrogate markers of cardiovascular well-being and they provide limited direct information regarding the adequacy of blood flow and tissue perfusion. Echocardiography is increasingly being used for hemodynamic assessment and monitoring in the intensive care units. With the use of bedside echocardiography, it is possible to assess cardiac function, preload, afterload, fluid responsiveness, and estimate pulmonary artery pressure and cardiac output. Echocardiography is easily available on beside, it is non-invasive and portable, and it can be used to acquire information of physiological changes in real time. These physiological information, in conjunction with clinical assessment, can help in guiding targeted spastic therapy. However, we must always be aware that our understanding of neonatal hemodynamics and its deviations from physiology is still very limited. Thus, echocardiography may help us in understanding but it is not the magic bullet. A comprehensive review of the cardiac function is out of the scope of this video, thus, we will focus our attention only on the echocardiographic measurements useful in assessing cardiac function in neonates, especially in the intensive care setting. Further potential ultrasound applications for neonatal cardiovascular assessment, as Doppler fluxometry of the systemic arteries, can be viewed in other videos of this channel.